What's up, everybody? This is Mr. Howard, and we are back with episode one of the brand new season of WWE Supercard. Uh, if you guys haven't updated already, I highly recommend it. Uh, you can see we got some nice uh, new menus here. Um, I did create my team, and we got about five people on there already. Um, I think this looks really cool. Uh, they have just about everything. You know, you got your catalog, your fusion chamber. Um, you know, you can buy card packs still. Uh, I really like this new feature. If you scroll all the way to the right, um, you can edit your Ring Domination decks and your Road to Glory decks as well. So that is definitely something that uh, I, I like because I, I always wonder, you know, where my Road to Glory deck is in between events. And, uh, you know, now I won't have to wait for the event to come up. Uh, we also got a new, uh, couple new modes. We got the Royal Rumble mode, which we are going to, uh, go through in just a moment. We got the, the, uh, ranked mode where you play against other players. And wild mode, which is kind of like exhibition. Um, but you can use cards from season one, two, or three. And then, of course, the money in the bank. But, what's interesting here is that they added a new reward, actually two new rewards. Uh, you got Kurt Hawkins, um, a hardened Kurt Hawkins, and then you got an elite uh, Hideo Itami. And I'm kicking myself now because uh, I didn't really think it through when I was looking at uh, the Money in the Bank session. I thought they were going to uh, probably add new rewards at the end of these 15 days. But they added two new rewards with the update today. And uh, I actually would have had enough to buy that uh, Atami, but I don't now. And uh, it's unfortunate, but I will definitely be saving up to get the Elite cards uh, in the future. It has been a while, so why don't we go ahead and look at my um, deck. I think you saw it. Uh, it might actually already be up on the screen. But um, yeah, this is where I'm at right now. So... I am, I've made a good deal of progress. If you watched my last Supercard video, uh, I think I was just getting the Braun Strowman from PCC, somewhere around there. And uh, it's it's looking good. So I actually did get my um, freebies. Oh, let's log back in there. And um, why don't we go ahead and look at the deck. And if we go to Hardened, um, you can see all the Legacy tiers there as well. Um, I have three Hardened cards. I already got a Nia Jax, I got a Roman Reigns, and I got a Heath Slater. So the uh, Ladder Rewards um, actually gave me two of those right off the bat. And uh, I'm pretty excited because that kind of gives me a little bit of a jump start. And um, what they did was they combined the ladder rewards from Season 1 and Season 2. Uh, and that bumped me up uh, a couple of rewards, which gave me two uh, these two cards. And then I played a couple of exhibition games, or wild games. And uh, I got Heath Slater as my, my freebie. So uh, that's looking good. I like the designs. Uh, you can see here I have uh, the old Survivor Fusion Roman Reigns picture. And yes, they did bring back the portraits from all of the Season 1 cards, assuming uh, that you had them back in Season 1 at some point. Uh, so you can see all of the different uh, pictures here. And then added on to that is all the Season 2 cards. And then, of course, the uh, you know Season 3 car cards, which are hardened and above. So that is looking good. I'm very excited. If uh, you go and just look at my top card, you can see I changed the picture on the Cesaro. I changed my John Cena. My Chris Jericho looks amazing. Randy Orton looks awesome. Stone Cold. Got that Money in the Bank Rollins picture on there. Um, and I found this hilarious uh, big head over here, Andre the Giant. Uh, the, the pictures back then of Andre were really close up. And uh, it takes up, like, the whole portrait now. So I thought that was funny. But, yeah, so why don't we go ahead and um, let's play a Royal Rumble match. You can see what this looks like. Uh, I have uh, a pretty good deck. I think what I'm going to do... 
you can you can guys can see the uh, arrow on the card corresponds to the um the stat that I believe the match is played in or that particular one on one encounter is. So um I think I'm just gonna leave it as is for now and if I end up not having good luck, um can always switch it up later. Uh, now this is my first time playing the Royal Rumble mode, so we are going to just, you know, try this out together and, and see how it is. Uh, I have seen a little bit of gameplay online, um, but I haven't quite, uh, I don't really fully understand the gameplay. I think I, I get the gist of it, but um, looks like we found an opponent. We're going to play against Captain Lou Albano. That sounds like a bot, but I could be wrong. Um, they have trophies, which are the rewards in this game, so I'm assuming it's a real person. Alright, so we have, looks like we have three cards to pick from. Um, I guess I will choose Cesaro. Alright. And I'm probably going to win that. Alright, so now... Let's see. Now I have to pick. Um, well, I guess we'll throw out Stone Cold there. Be a charisma matchup, which uh, I could possibly win. I think I have a good chance here. Yep, against Brock Lesnar. Uh, so that's good. We got a point. All right, so this isn't too difficult. Uh, all right, so now I'm going to lose because... Uh, we are going to use a speed match. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of the under the Giant because he is the uh, weakest of my hand. And that's okay. We'll take out Seth Rollins soon. All right. So let's see. I guess... Um, why don't we go with Seth Rollins and just see what happens? Because I think I can beat him... In just about all the stats. Yeah. Good. Alright. Um, I guess we'll use Roman Reigns. Get a speed matchup with our Seth Rollins. Uh, Undertaker's strong, but he is not fast. So we're going to get another point. That is good. Um, we need to... Let's go with uh, Charisma. Because Seth Rollins has... Uh, <laughs> Better charisma than anything else. And we're going to get another point. Okay, good. And, I mean, I kind of have to use John Cena here. Uh, and just hope that he has a bad toughness card. And it's going to be close. Oh, we won again. That's because Simon Gotcha is not a good card. And as he goes into my hand, too. Um, Alright, so this doesn't really matter. We're just going to throw Gotch out lose this matchup here. Uh, Rollins, you served us well. And, uh, let's see. I think... Yeah, we'll use Chris Jericho, I think. And we shouldn't have a problem there. So we're doing good. We got, we're got we winning. We're up four to nothing. Um... I mean, might as well go Charisma, right? It's going to be hard to beat Jericho in Charisma. Yeah, I mean, even if he procced, I don't think he would have won that one. Uh, where you want... Well, we have no choice, so we got to go Toughness. We'll just throw away Bray Wyatt there. And we're going to win that, too. Whew. We are having a good first game. All right, so... Uh, speed, I don't have a speed option, so we'll just throw Finn Balor away. And, um, yep, Steve Austin's going to beat us. And now, I mean, mm, trying to think what the best option would be. Why don't we go Randy Orton? He seems well balanced, and the matchup isn't going to matter because we only have toughness cards left, so... Um, I think, I think we win once we run out of cards. I think that's how that works. I could be wrong. Um, we'll get rid of Styles. 
<laughs> that worked. And uh, we're going to have another toughness matchup, but let's see what Cardi throws in there. And it looks like we're still going to win that. Yeah. Wow. 10 to nothing. I have to say, guys, that is a, fir uh, a good first uh, experience with the Royal Rumble. So uh, let me know what you guys think down below. I think uh, at first I was a little concerned at you know, how the game would be played. Uh, after playing it, I'm definitely not um, confused anymore. If you guys are, feel free to leave a question down below. Um, but it's pretty simple. You basically, um, you, you know, you pick a card to go into the ring to actually fight, and then you pick another card on the off rounds uh, to choose the, you know, the stat that the game is played in. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. And you get 12 picks for a win, I believe six for a loss. Um, so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, we're basically just going to be, um, you know, working together business as usual. Uh, we won our first King of the Ring game. We actually won a SummerSlam King of the Ring last night, right before the update. Um, so that is good. And um you can see I got my hardened Roman Reigns in there. Uh, yeah, why don't we go ahead and show you my deck right now. Uh, I'm currently training up the uh, Roman Reigns. And I'm currently training up this WrestleMania page and the SummerSlam Asuka. They both will make pros once we're done. And uh, let's see what my next matchup is. Um, let's see if I know. Oh, yeah, CG... Chris, uh, I know, I know a couple of these people, so it's definitely, uh, definitely not many bots, if any, that's for sure. Um, what I do love about this is I'm in a hardened King of the Ring, and look at the rewards. We get a hardened or and a SummerSlam card for winning. You get a hardened card for second place. You get two SummerSlam cards for making the semifinals, and you even get a SummerSlam card for just making the quarterfinals. So um, this is going to help me a bunch. Uh, if you look at my uh, Road to Glory deck, we um, we are about four cards away from a full SummerSlam Pro deck, at least on the Superstar side, and um, we're gonna have we're gonna be kicking out one of those WrestleMania Pros uh, soon with the Harden card, I believe. So that will be um, that will be good. And uh, you can also see the new waiting on the network signal. You guys better get acquainted with that, uh, as we will likely be seeing that. Um, hopefully not as often, but definitely still um, a, a good amount of time. Um, it looks like they're going to be you know, doing some bugs and fixes and patches. Um, so I'm going to end this video here. I want to thank you guys so much for wa uh, watching. It's good to be back. I will be uploading content uh, pretty regularly. Uh, at least for Supercard, maybe some, some other things as well. Um, and until next time, I will uh, catch you later.